All right, guys, so here's our first question. We are told that this is a arithmetic sequence and it says determine the values of X and Y. So we need to understand that when something is arithmetic, like three, five, seven, and nine, we know that the difference remains the same. So what we can say is that term two minus term one must always be the same as term three minus term two, for example. That makes sense. It's like five minus three is, is the same as seven minus five because it's two is equal to two. You can also say something like term eight minus term seven must always be the same as term seven minus term six. You could say term 200 minus term 199 must be the same as term 199 minus term 198. It doesn't really matter. So what we can do here is we can take these three over here and we can say term two minus term one is the same as term two. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing um, is the same as. Um, Let's go term three minus term two, for example. So that's going to give us seven minus X. I mean, X minus seven, X minus seven is equal to Y minus X. Then you could simplify that a little bit if you wanted to. Um, it would eventually say that two X minus seven is equal to Y. Now, don't panic. There's nothing you can do there. So what we do is we go on to the next one. So we use this, we can use these three. So we can say that term four minus term three must be the same as term three minus term two, for example. So that would be minus 11 minus Y must be the same as Y minus X. I'm then going to simplify a little bit. Um, you should eventually get X is equal to two Y plus 11. You can do it in another way, but that's just, yeah, that's the way I saw straight away. And then, of course, we just use simultaneous equations. And so simultaneous equations can be done in many different ways. But what I'm going to do is you see this equation here. It says that y is equal to 2x minus 7. So what I can do is I can replace this y with 2x minus 7. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about there and there. See, I'm going to replace that y with 2x minus 7. And so what that would look like is the following. So we can say, <clears throat> okay, wait, let me just change my color here, red. So we can say that x will be equal to um, 2 times 2x minus 7 plus 11. And so x will be equal to 4x minus 14 plus 11. And so if you eventually solve this, we should find that 3x will be equal to 3. And so x will be equal to 1. We can then put that, um, we can put that uh, 1 over here. And so that will allow us to find y. So we can see that y will be equal to 2 times 1 minus 7. And so y will be equal to negative 5. OK, not a very difficult question. Whenever you get an arithmetic pattern and they don't and they have X's and Y's and things like that, you just use this formula over here.